Hello everyone, I'm Rose Josh Drews and welcome to my place. So, I want to talk about fit phobia, because we live in a time, I don't know where it happened sometime in my lifetime, okay? And see, most of my life, I was always super skinny, rail thin skinny, okay? But sometime in my life, the body positive. The body positivity movement suddenly started transforming into fat acceptance, right? And then if you tell someone, like, they need to lose weight or they're called fat phobic, right? And there's even obese people that they don't want their doctor telling them they're obese. And that's really sad because my own story, I feel like, counters a lot of that nonsense, okay? Now, you look at me. I'm not... I'm not in the best shape, but I'm not in the worst shape either. I'm just kind of average middle of the road. In my previous transition story that kind of gave me some little breasts from HRT, that makes me a little unique, but for the most part, I'm your typical biological male. You know, I'm not remarkably huge or ripped, but I'm not like super skinny. So I'm kind of in that middle part. And so up till last summer, say about May or June of last year. So close to about two years, I had gained all this weight in my midsection. My arms are kind of still the same, but I basically had like the, uh, the, 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 the plumber or truck driver body, right? Or I'm, I'm kind of fit, but it's all right here because I'm sitting here, you know, and I just felt miserable. I kind of knew I felt miserable. It's like going up the stairs getting out of bed, even bending over to put my shoes on, that just seemed like a hassle. And a lot of that I wrote off as like being like, well, you're in your mid-30s. But at the same time, it's like, you know, there's people that weigh more than me. And for some reason, I feel really miserable. And I keep thinking, I'm like, come on, you're 35. You still got some time left, right? And so I started going to Plant Fitness. And... Trying to be consistent. It's not like I go every single day. There's some weeks I only make it one day just because of my schedule. But I just keep... And there's some weeks I didn't even make it because of my schedule. But for the most part, since I signed up, I've made it consistent just to keep going. And how do I fit into my time? It's like, well, by the time I get off work, I just go to the gym on the way home. And for me, it's no more than an hour a day. Maybe an hour and a half if I take a little bit of time. But it's like... I do 30 minutes on the treadmill at a fast walk with 5 minutes to uh, catch up to, to cool off. And then I do 4 machines. My Consistently, my routine, I do the back extension, then something for my abs, and then I do like either a chest or a chest or back. And then recently I've been doing this shoulder press where it really works these. And so, as you can see... I like the results. I'm happy with it. And so that's what I would say to the people that are fit phobic. It's like, you never know until you put in the work to just work on it. Like, you don't have to be a bodybuilder. You don't have to look like a movie star or a celebrity. It, the whole fact is you should be able to go about, from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, moving about in your own body shouldn't be a struggle. And you'll feel a lot better about yourself. Um, and if you don't know where to start, one thing I learned, like a really good life hack, I hate that term, but it's like a really good life hack if you want to get healthy again, just go walking 30 minutes a day. That's 30 minutes out of 24 hours. If you can find 30 minutes to just do that and be consistent, that actually regulates your body because when you get active, it activates all these muscles because, um, yeah, working out how I do now, I never could have imagined half a year ago. I was just barely getting started. And it's like, I don't even run. I do a fast walk. Like, I think the speed I do is 3.8. And then after 30 minutes, I go down to 3 miles per hour. But each week, I've been increasing the incline. I think I'm up to like a 7 incline now. And for 30 minutes, that really gets a lot. So, cardio is a good thing. It just recalibrates your body. You know, and... I'm not a guy that goes to the gym every single day either, but it's like, these results are worth it. Because it's like, you feel a lot better. And once you've been doing it regularly, people react to you very differently. Like, you know, I was always a guy who was afraid to approach women, but now I'm like, women actually give me a lot more attention than I realized. And, um, 
without even trying, a lot of it's like you get a lot more confidence and you feel when you feel better about yourself, you present yourself in a much better way. And I'm putting this message out there because there's a lot of fat acceptance influencers. I've seen videos on them. They end up creating all these health problems. They regret that they told so many people about it. Accepting yourself as beautiful at any size. It's like, no, obesity. That's your doctor warning you, okay? You, you aren't immortal. Your body will start falling apart. You know, heart disease is a major killer of the modern world. You know, and uh, life just feels so much better when you make it when you stay regularly active. I mean, when you're young, it, you can get away with so much. You can be completely unhealthy and still, like, I was real skinny. Like, 10 years ago when I was 25, I would snack on Doritos and queso and then pizza rolls and drinking sodas or beer even, you know, and I'd still be really skinny. It wasn't until I hit 30 when it all started catching up with me. And then, you know, heartburn's another thing too. And when you're young, you people aren't, Young people, when I say you people, I mean young people, you're not prepared for when your life is going to just, your body's just going to start. You, you, you don't feel as young and in, invincible as you once did. But I'm putting this out there because I'm sure a lot more people, if they had some more positive encouragement about getting healthy, they could course correct because once you get really huge, it's even harder to turn it around. It's even more discouraging. And it's unfortunate because I believe anyone can really turn your life around. It's just, it's different for everyone. Everyone has a different body. But the thing is, once you've gotten more unhealthier, it becomes more of a struggle. But the good news is, once you start it, the point is consistency, right? Because, like, from this camera angle, I look kind of skinny, but... When I first started my flooring job, I was like really skinny in the arms. And within three months of working there, just by lifting all the bundles of wood or tile or thin set, I got immense muscle, which my arms are bigger than they've ever been, you know. And I think by going to the gym, I've kind of solidified it. But I'm, just, I, it, it feels good to uh, have all this power. And lifting things has just never been easier. It's... Oh, it was hilarious. I was at a, a band practice. I got one guitarist. He's like super skinny. He just eats junk food all the time. And so we needed this brick to stop the drummer's kick drum from sliding. So I saw him. He, we, we were at his place, and he was bringing in this cinder block or whatever from the backyard. And he's trying to pick it up. He's like, uh, uh. He puts it in front of the drum. He's like, uh, uh. And then our drummer, she's like, oh, we need to move it. And she tries moving it with both hands. They're both trying to move with both hands. They're like, ugh. And I'm like, guys, are you sure? I just picked it up with one hand. I kind of dangle it just kind of show off, but it is kind of a cool feeling when it's like you can lift up stuff effortlessly, you know. It feels good to get healthy. Like I said, you don't have to become a bodybuilder. You don't have to look like a perfect 10. You, the whole point is from when you wake up to when you go to sleep, you're... Your general wellness, right? And it does change your outlook. You feel less depressed. Uh, people are friendlier towards you. I mean, there is a bias that people have attractive privilege. Because people that work out and exercise, they're generally going to be more attractive to people. Regardless of their personality. Because if you're in really good shape, people treat you a lot better than if you're not in good shape. And that's the unfortunate bias. But then again, someone who's actually putting in the work to make their body healthy, that's a very good quality. Like, even the ancient Greeks, they understood you can't have a sharp mind, you need a body to match it. Because what is the mind if the body is nothing, right? You could be a complete math genius, but if you're just like this blob on the couch, who can't even get up, you got the Dorito dust on you. No one wants that. It's more fun to just go out and and one of the other benefits about getting fit, getting healthy, is when you wear clothes, you generally look better no matter what you wear. Compared to like, you know, a year ago I'd try on clothes, I'm like, oh, that doesn't look good on me, you know, shirts didn't seem to fit. Funny I'm talking about this. I wore this shirt specifically for this video because it's really tight and it kind of does show my progress. And since a lot of y'all ask about the effects of HRT, I'm like, well, I guess here's one. 
I was on it for about 14 months, so it's like, I mean, if I wasn't working out a lot, they'd probably be a little more prominent. It's just I've gained a lot more muscle, just since I'm a biological male. My body still produces testosterone, unfortunately. But, uh... Yeah, so I want to put that out there, and it's really just kind of, uh... Just... It just feels good to have that much muscle when... Especially me, like, probably what contributed to what I thought was dysphoria, I was always a skinny dude, so I always felt like I couldn't compete with other guys to get women, right? But the thing is, I hadn't put in the work to get that kind of woman I would want, you know? I was, just, I was a skinny little awkward kid, and it's weird now, because it's like, I was way skinnier. But now, I mean, I'll admit with my, I don't know how you put it, but it's like, Because even though I have a long way to go and just to build up some gains, I can at least be confident that I have a pretty good-looking dad bod. Because I am 35. And last time I tried Twitter months ago, there's some hotties that say they're into a dad bod. So for you guys that feel like you can't get a girl because you're not muscular enough like Chad or whatever, it's like, no. Women like all kinds of bodies. Generally, if you're in shape... You, you're up higher on the, uh, uh, the, the attractiveness level, but ultimately it comes down to mindset, because there are very attractive people who have very, very terrible personalities, right? It's, it's the overall wellness, but generally someone who's putting in the work to make themselves healthy, they're going to have a much better personality, and the type of patience you develop, too. And another thing about exercising, too... That is a type of stress that you voluntarily put on yourself. It does make you stronger overall. Not just stronger in terms of lifting stuff. Bags and all that's a pillow. But in terms of enduring stuff. Dealing with hard, tough situations. You know, you can keep your calm, maintain your cool during really stressful situations. And when people respect you more, it helps with your overall wellness and self-esteem. So... It's hard at first, especially if you've, if you've really gone out of shape. Fortunately, I had only gained somewhat a little bit of weight, so turning the ship around wasn't as much of a struggle as, say, someone who weighs, like, 300. And, um... Yeah, because I realized it, like... I weighed myself months ago. I was over 200 pounds. But then, last week, I weighed myself. I was 190 so, not only did I lose a bunch of fat, I gained some muscle. Because it's weird, because when I was transitioning on HRT, I was like at 150. So, since then, I had actually gained more weight, but I think a lot of it is muscle weight. Um, okay, one last thing to say before I leave. It was just on my mind. But, uh, maybe I'll think of it as another video. But, I'm just wishing you all the best. And we definitely need to fight this epidemic of fit phobia because the type of happiness and overall well being I'm feeling now about myself, I wasn't experiencing over a year ago. And the fact that so many people could turn their life around and feel a lot better, I think that's a big crime to prevent people from ever experiencing it just because they want to be happy with what they have. So, and. It's kind of what life is. You take on challenges, and, you know, like, I don't even play video games, but I love that analogy I've seen on a lot of these channels, self-help. You know, it's like, you don't, instead of playing a video game and leveling up, like, your own life is a video game, and you can level up. And freedom is great, because it's like, I'm going to show this around, because it's like, 35, never married, no kids, but you know what? I got my own place. Yeah, that's it's an efficiency apartment. Rent is a lot cheaper than an apartment, you know. And uh, yeah, life can be really good. I never would have expected my life to be where I am now a year ago, even. So it's like your life can change for the better right away, but you just got to put in the work. And believe me. It's, uh, the work, it does go a long way. You just gotta set some goals. And, 
um, yeah, extremely grateful for where I'm at in life. And uh, I'm hoping I can pass on some of what I've learned because I've struggled in the past. And of course, I still struggle. Life is a struggle, but I take it on as a challenge because uh, I'd rather take on life than just do nothing and just become a goo who doesn't just takes up space. Yeah, I mean, and you know, Mary, God blesses us to bless others. He, he works through us so we can do good. Yeah. But I thought I'd leave that with y'all. So this epidemic of fit phobia, we need to counter it because there are ways to turn your life around and feel a lot better about yourself overall. But, uh, well, until next time, have a good one.